Hey guys, it's a dude who talks and welcome to a new video. I'm sorry for the lack of videos, I've been very, very busy. So last week I went to two gigs consecutively and I'm going to talk about on this video the one I went to on Monday at Manchester Gorilla which was Death Heaven. The one thing I like about Gorilla in Manchester is that they've got neck oil on draft. So anyway, did I hate Death Heaven Live or did I love it? Well, I guess you're just going to have to find out. So for those who don't know, Death Heaven was formed in 2010. They've got four albums out. The most recent being Ordinary Corrupt Human Love, which I really enjoy. Best way to describe their music is a cross between shoegazing and black metal. And to some, they're considered quite divisive. Some people like call them hipster metal, but I really enjoy them regardless. I think there's two genres that I really like. So, yeah. So, opening up for Death Heaven was the band Interama. Now, I was told that they were meant to be quite insane live, so I was going to find out for myself whether that was true or not. So, when they kicked off, it was quite slow. It felt like a really long intro at the beginning, and I thought, hmm, I'm sure this something's going to kick in. And then it did. The drums went in, the guitars blasted, and it went full black metal. And I was like, ah, oh, now I see it. Now I get it. And I was like, this is actually really decent. The thing I liked about it, it kind of switched between like chaotic, fast-paced metal to like slow, sludgier parts. And it did it effortlessly. And I was like, oh, I'm really enjoying this. Also, it kind of, the whole set felt like just seamless. It was like, there was no breathers really. There was no like pausing for another song. It just flowed really nice. And Interama get a thumbs up from me. So the venue started packing up and it was now time for Death Heaven. Now, I was looking really forward to seeing these because I've never actually got the chance of seeing Death Heaven live, I always keep missing them. So they kick things off with Honeycomb, which was awesome. And what I liked about it was like, sometimes listening to Death Heaven on CD or vinyl or whatever, is that it can be considered quite slow pace, but somehow Death Heaven make it all like, you know, like what could be slow pace, like really fast and intense. And there was a freaking pit like through most of the set. They played a lot from the new album, um, Canary, Yellow, Glint. They also played, I think, Brought to the Water off New Bermuda, which is my favourite song on that album. And they finished things off with Dreamhouse, which was absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it and I thought the lead singer had such like a showmanship about him. He went from evil glare to like just standing up in front of the crowd, um, clicking his fingers to the beat and he even jumped into the crowd and they're all carrying him like he was Jesus or something. It was really incredible and it blew my expectations of what Death of them are like live. So yeah, more thumbs up. So, there you have it. Those were my thoughts on Death Heaven at the Gorilla in Manchester. Um, were you there? Um, please let me know what you thought of the gig down below in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Really helps me out. So, my next gig is going to be Yob on, I think, Thursday. But I'm going to be doing a video on Elder which should be um, out on Friday if you want to watch that. So all I've got left to say to you guys is I've been the Doo Doo Talks and thank you for watching. Now you haven't got rid of me just yet. I'm just going to introduce you that there's some more videos out there that I've made and a couple of them will be floating around here below my chin. So make like Netflix and watch them.